if you are new here and you love coding then please subscribe to my channel and like the video in this flutter video i'll be talking about how to create signature pad like this this is my home screen and if you click on this button add signature signature pad will open and if you write here something and if you press here clear then result will be clear and if you again tapping here something and clicking on this done button then this will be your result okay so without any delay let's get started so first of all for this you will have to use package which is named by signature the version is current version is this i will put the link of the code and the package link in the description you can copy that from the description box so in the beginning this is my home screen first of all this is a stateful widget and inside this i have taken signature image and the type is you int at list okay basically it returns image in this form okay and inside this i have taken scaffold and taken this center and then column these are basic things you can understand and i have applied here condition if signature image is null then this text will be shown here like this like this this is the text okay and when the image will come i will show this image like this image dot memory and i have taken this width and height and this property to fit the image and then i have taken this elevated button and these are the styling method that i have used and on press basically it will navigate to signature screen and when it will pop back from that screen it will give us result inside this signature image that i have created above this okay and after that set state will call and image will be show in this particular screen so let's tap on this particular screen this is my signature screen close this yes this is my signature screen so first of all you will have to create signature controller i have taken this and the pen stroke width is 3 you can change the pen stroke according to you i have used 3 you can use 5 10 whatever the thickness of the pencil you want you can use that you can change the color from here like if i will use red then let's see what happened if i'm going back and coming again then the color is changed okay so you can change color from here okay and then in the build method i have taken same safe area scaffold this is the app bar these are basic things and i have taken here column okay i will put the link of the code in the description so you can copy my code from there inside column i have taken padding and inside padding i have taken signature pad sorry signature widget and i have fixed the height and width according to the screen size actually i have created signature pad in a square shape okay and initialized controller with signature controller that i have created earlier here okay then i have created two buttons inside this row this is the particular two buttons okay and i have already created the design of my button i am using it here first property uh, this is my uh, predefined customized button basically pad button option so there it is it will take button color button text and button function which we will call on press okay so hope this is clear to you i'm using this here okay if it is clear uh, i'm using this uh, for clear button and this is done button 
clear button the color of the button is red text is clear and when i will press this clear button, basically it is used to clear the result like this when i am tapping on this button okay and when i will press on this done button the color is set the background color of the button is green text is done and i am calling async method here i have used this design i am reusing re basically this design basically it is my customized button and when you will press done button this method will perform first of all it will check signature controller is not empty and if it is not empty then it will call this method and uh, it will basically return some value and it will be saved in this signature so let's see this method there it is this is the method i will put the code on git and will put the link in the description you can check my code from there uh, please subscribe my channel for that and also like the video and this is the thing it will return some result and the form format of the result is u into at least okay first of all it will signature controller it will uh, return result like this signature controller and i have used your pen stroke width you can change the result color from here like it is now returning background white and the pen color is black you can change it from here pen pen color blue and the result of the background would be yellow so let me run this once again suppose i'm writing here something then this is the background color is changed according to this and the blue color of your signature and the pen width is 5 you can change it according to your use okay i'm just going to revert it and points it will basically count the point where we are signaturing okay let's see what is it convert canvas to image and then to png represent in unit at least will return null if there is no value we have already checked that condition okay so it will return some value and i'm checking if it is not empty then navigating pop and where when we are coming back on this screen home screen we will have some value in the form of u int at least and after that set state set state will basically run your program from beginning and it will check once again now this time this is not null and it will come here and i have shown here the image signature image and i have taken widget image dot memory then the result and i have same uh, taken the height and width of the image same as the signature pad the height and width of the signature pad is same and this is also same okay so let's run this once again so this is my signature pad please subscribe to my channel that's it for now hope to see you next time in my next video till then bye